Hey everyone, it is Fitz with the Daily Delivery. I hope you're doing well. Something a little bit different today. On Friday, I was able to tour the Shamrock Zone. Now you get to see it too. Let's step inside. 70,000 square feet, folks. It is amazing. It's unbelievable that the space they filled is this large. Never saw that coming. There's the video board. There's another one at the other end. 40 feet high, 70 feet wide, can divide it up into four games, pre-game or post-game, if you want to watch a bunch of college football at once. Look at the length of this bar. Man, man, it's just really so much seating down here. I, I didn't realize how much seating, and that looks into Bramlage. That's how you enter from Bramlage, and that's the Coliseum over there. How about that wall? I love that wall. Oh, I just, it's my favorite thing. Of all the cool stuff they built, that wall is absolutely amazing. I love it. Now let's step inside, go to the other end here. It's more seating. Just a really cool multi-purpose area. This is the buffet end. So where the bar sat, now there's dual buffets down at this end with tons more seating. And another one of these video boards. They use 785 tons of steel. There's 335 premium club seats and 24 new concession points of sale. We'll see some of that at the bottom here uh, when we go downstairs. But let's step outside. This is the seating outside the suites. I didn't go into any of the suites, but I gotta admit, it's better than what I thought it would be. You're kind of just hanging out there over the edge of the field. It's pretty cool seating actually. And uh, I don't think there's a bad seat in the house at Bill Snyder Family Stadium. Upstairs, they built new offices for athletics, conference rooms. Uh, some of these overlook the concourse or the Shamrock area inside. And then out back here, there's more offices behind the video boards. Friends from Learfield are in there. Here's the new concession area, the walkway. And this is what it looks like out to the field now. You're completely covered on this concourse and it's raining. It's really cool. Pretty cool view here, but let's say you're trapped behind some people and there's a big play you can't see. Well, never worry yourself because look, they put monitors everywhere. You can see the game from almost any angle. Overall, I was blown away. The Shamrock Zone is so impressive. It completes the stadium to a degree. It really finishes off that south end. Great work by K-State Athletics. They were able to move a lot of personnel out of that end of the building and put them down at this end, freeing up more room for football offices. Thanks for watching, everyone.